was it getting uh, uh, a solar installation together here in, in the Fenway? You've been working on this for a while. Sure. Well, I think that we're, of course, we're very happy to see that uh, we're just about to inaugurate uh, a, a photovoltaic system at Boston Arts Academy. Mm -hmm. It's a um, it's about a 2.6 kilowatt uh, kilowatt system, and uh, and we have been working on this project for f almost four years. Uh, January 2002. Now I have no idea of the size. What you have in the window is how many? That is about uh, about 50 watt. 50 watt. Right. So two and a half kilowatt you have. Right. That's a lot more. Right. So certainly a lot more. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what are they actually powering up with this installation? Well, I think that it's connected to the school power uh, 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 school power line. Oh, okay. But at the same time, you know, photon could be traveling to California, for right. that matter. But right. the but what is what that does is that, unlike the standalone system where you saw battery right. that we have uh, in in our house, uh, which has been in operation since um, 1986, really. So mm -hmm. this is the 28th year of this right. standalone system. This one is a two, uh, uh, This one is a system that's called utility connected. It's connected to the power line, and there's a there's a meter which records how much it is generating. And the idea is that the school will pay that much less, uh, you know, uh, for uh, for for its monthly payment for electricity. And uh, and I think that the, we start we started that in 2004. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, 2000, uh, 2002, two. but uh, it really doesn't take that long. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, it took two days to set up the system, right. but it is the formalities and the permission right, right. And, and the funding, uh, all these things really uh, took, uh, took this time. So the system at the school, is that designed so the students can uh, learn from it? Is there a way where they can see meters and is, is there a system set up so that, so that people actually can monitor essentially what they're generating so they they get a sense similar like in the wind turbine and how they're reading how many kilowatts they've produced and, and so the school must have a similar the right the way it is right now the way the system is placed right now that there there is a uh, there's a modules yeah. uh, on the roof mm -hmm. and it's it's connected to the power line and there's a, a, a box you can see that is being right. is generating and yeah. going into the power line so you can see that it's electricity coming from there mm -hmm. it's generated dc being converted into ac and going into the power line mm -hmm. okay and then what can happen is that which is our uh, which is one of the things that we are working on mm -hmm. that uh, there will be um, uh, uh, you can have a real time data Mm -hmm. uh, you know, downloaded to your, to your computer, and and that technology is available, and we're, that will be our next step, so that mm -hmm. students can also see really uh, the real time data of, uh, you know, of the system. I think that it was always vital. Because we are ready to unveil our solar panels. This has been one of the most exciting collaborations we've all been involved with, and I know you're all here to hear about the details. Solar energy is a very good idea and can be used in so many ways, such as cooking, um, a form to heat your house, um, electricity, and um, also it's a renewable energy, unlike the fossil fuels that we are using right now in the world. And um, me personally, I want to decrease the use of fossil fuels um, until they become obsolete. Start at the top. Um, we've just been pleased at Mass Energy to have uh, a mayor in Boston who's just gets it when it talks about renewable energy, particularly in the, in the concept of uh, green buildings. Uh, Boston is just becoming such a leader in that area. And so I want to invite uh, Mayor Tom Menino to come up and uh, talk about uh, his vision of, of the city and, and solar energy. Larry, thank you for your comments about the solar panels that we have here. We installed this building today in, at the Murphy School, and last year we did it at the O'Brien School. It's really great to celebrate this because we all know what solar energy does for us. Solar panels are an important part of the city's strategy to promote energy efficiency. They produce power without burning fossil fuel or producing pollution. Each solar panel system saves the equivalent of 500 gallons of gasoline. Now, I want to thank Dr. Kamal. You're the hero here. Thank you for staying. 
Solar energy is the future. We continue to do that. We continue to work hard to make more in the Green Building Task Force and the criteria we put out there. That's important. Lead, let's lead certified. That's another piece of it. All those things we're working on. We have still got to stay focused. Dr. Kamel, thank you very much for your help. Thank you. There are revolutionary alternatives to the obsolete, destructive, and unsustainable energy paths we are in. The renewable energy paths of innovation, revitalization, and abundance are also within our reach, but only if we choose them. The renewable energy sources of light, heat, wind, water movement, and photosynthesis have the potential to revolutionize the global economy, heal the environment, and secure a peaceable energy supply. In just two weeks, we receive more energy from the sun than what is stored in all the fossil fuel reserves anywhere in the planet Earth.